Overwatch. We have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Jacob. He told us to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh, God. Are you all right? I'll live. But I need a safe place to rest, in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there, but I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help us? Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Jacob was right about you.
clear out the cave? Is it safe? The cave is clear. If you head there now, you'll be safe. Thank you. Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but you weren't the one who needed it. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. <sighs> Thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Jacob's people were forced to work here. here. Well worn. Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. What more can you tell me about the Wicked Veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Veil. But they aimed at Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. 
The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. A ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil. To kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley. Armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want. But I know, if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. This is her land. Flowers. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? 
God, don't! I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. 